Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at more liars who got exposed. Adriana claims she caught her boyfriend Josh kissing one of her own family members. Oh, damn, that ain't good. Right, okay, we got a girl called Kayana and she caught her boyfriend Josh kissing a family member. Yeah, that ain't good. It also says here my husband will leave me if my twins are not his. Wait, so have they both cheated on each other? Josh claims he loves me, but the day after I got hit by a car, I caught him kissing my family member. Oh! Okay, so the day after she got hit by a car, literally ran over, took it out by a car. She caught him kissing a family member. That's definitely a Josh thing to do. Then I found all these random numbers on his cell phone. He tried to tell me he let a homeless man use his phone and he called all his homeless friends. Oh God, that is such a bad excuse. Also, keep in mind, this is like real, like this is actually someone's family. I feel bad for these poor women because they're put through so much bad stuff. I found messages on Joshua's Facebook from other girls saying how he couldn't wait to meet up with them so i deleted all of those other women from his friends list okay well you can do that all you want but like he's still cheated and he probably is going to continue to cheat the good old saying is once to cheat always to cheat also why haven't you literally like ditched him he cheated on you a day after you got hit by a car he tried to claim that like homeless man used his phone and now he's chatting up girls on facebook so he secretly created another facebook page and added all those girls right back onto his facebook oh so he's done it again yeah i wonder what family member he kissed it was probably her mum knowing the way these videos go. I don't know what I would do without my aunt Georgie. She's taking us in to live with her, but she's fed up with Joshua too. Well then, do you want to know something? You and Aunt Georgie need to get rid of Josh. Obviously, he's acting like a Josh. He's acting inappropriately. Yet again, I don't understand how people can put up with a relationship like that, because if it were me, they'd be kicked out immediately. Well, I got the results right here. I got the results right here. Oh god, what was going on there? They're having a proper little yappy moment, weren't they? Sounded like pigeons or like seagulls squawking. You were asked if during your relationship with Adriana, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Yep, so just like I suspected he did cheat. Yet again, this girl's 19, she's my age. I don't understand why men are like that. Like, honestly, men are trash. Oh my god, the Anne. Oh my god, like, I want to laugh, but I can't. See this woman right here, she is me. Like, I don't know how to react, and that's also me. Oh my god, don't mess around the Anne because she's gonna knock you out. When Adriana found random numbers in your phone, you claim it was letting a homeless man use it. Was it really from women you've had sexual intercourse with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Yeah. Oh my god, so the whole lie about the homeless man was because he was actually messaging girls he hooked up with. I don't understand, like, I just don't understand why men are like that. Also, I'm pretty sure she's pregnant or she's had twins and he apparently wants to know if he's the father. Sweetheart, I think she should know if you fathered any other children. You were asked if the day Adriana came home early from work and was banging on the door for you to open it, were you really having intercourse with her family member oh god right so we got to the family member question oh god what family member was it also what is going on here like he just looks evil doesn't he yeah again this is why i'm never gonna let myself near a man you said no the lie detector test determined that was a lie <laughs> yep i knew that was coming Oh my god, I want to know what family member because I need this. There's drama. Why do people put up with that? Like, I actually cannot deal with stuff like that. This is exactly why I'm not in a relationship. You were asked if during your relationship with Adriana, when she leaves for work, do you use this time to have sexual intercourse with other women? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Honestly, this is like five times that he's lied. Do these people not realize that like they're not going to get away with it? This is why I think these videos are fake because I genuinely cannot believe that people are like this out in the world. I don't understand why you do it. Have you used unprotected <laughs> with another woman during your relationship with Adriana? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Yep, just like I suspected lies and lies and lies and lies and lies. I don't understand it. Like I genuinely don't. What is up with these people? It's always the Americans. I'm tired of that coming in our lives Who? she's she's she it's his ex-fiance wait you want to know something crazy yeah oh wait i've just realized something this is a jerry springer video basically this woman is a catfish or is she i can't remember something's going on but that man looked a bit inbred said, oh he loves her he wants to be with her he's never even talked on the phone with her he's never even video chatted her he's never done nothing he doesn't even know who this girl is all right i think she's talking about the girl he's getting catfished by also it literally says right here boyfriend was engaged to a woman 
someone he's never met in person. Yet again, these people are getting engaged to people they've never met, and I can't even find a boy who fancies me. He sent her money, he sent her gifts, he sent her Christmas gifts How and long birthday have you, gifts. Were you engaged to her? Well, like she said, I never met her. That's correct. What? And you literally got engaged to her and sent her gifts. I'm telling you, the catfish someone that's too easy. Like, I need to get into it. I'm telling you right now, right after this video, I'm making a fake Tinder to catfish men for money. You're engaged to a woman you've never met? Yes. Ever. How does that happen? It just happened. I guess the connection on Facebook. You met her on, oh, on, met, Facebook. Met her on Facebook. Yeah. Oh my god, of course it happened on Facebook. That's such a Facebook thing. I remember like five or six years ago, I was dating a girl who literally lived in my area, but we never met up. I think we dated for quite a few months as well. I'm telling you, 13 year old me was wild. I had all these girlfriends. And I guess the connection, the bonding that we talked about, I just, we hit it off and we've been okay. engaged. Okay, so you apparently hit it off, but like you've never met each other. Have you even video called? If they haven't video called, I swear to God, he's gonna be so idiotic. How can you be that dumb? Like, how can you get catfished that badly? So, you've only seen pictures yeah, of her? she's only sent me a few pictures on Facebook. Oh, and, and my producer it. just says we have, oh, that's her. Okay, so this is the woman. I mean, she looks pretty, but apparently says catfish by a little person. Is she gonna be a dwarf? So, and you've never spoken to her on the phone? Nope. Not at all. They've never spoken in the phone and yet again he got engaged. I don't understand why people are like that. Like, how can that literally happen? I'm telling you, these people are asking to get scammed. So this is the first time you will have ever met her. Yep. This is really crazy. Here's Kimberly. Oh, here she comes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! So it wasn't even a woman, it was a small man. I can't, like, this is why I love these programs. First of all, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> but I love them Jerry Springer shoes because I'm telling you, they're actually wild. How did that happen? Like, this has to be from the 2012. 7 year old healthcare aide Lisa Reed is suing her former friend, house cleaner Barbara Loth, for breaking her toilet when she sat on it. Okay, so apparently this woman's suing this other woman for breaking her toilet because she sat on it. Look, I've got a big fat bum, but I don't think I've ever broken a toilet, say. Miss Reed, the defendant used to be a friend of yours. She was visiting you. And according to your complaint, she went into the bathroom and she broke your toilet. She cracked it. You yes. want her to pay for it. Yes. Oh, God, that's so embarrassing for her to be there. I mean, if that did happen, yeah, I can completely understand why you'd be furious. But, like, oh, God, actually, I don't know. It was an accident, wasn't it? It's not like she, like, jumped on it. How many times had she been to your house before? Mm, a whole bunch of times, like seven or eight. Where on the toilet was it cracked? Down the side. How do you think she did that? She must have fell on it. Oh god, this is just so bad. I feel bad for the woman who's getting accused of this because this is like low-key fat shaming. She's literally getting embarrassed because she sat in the toilet and cracked it. Fell. Fell on it. She must have fell back, sat on the toilet. But you don't know. I'm positive she's the only person that used no, the no, bathroom no, 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 that no, no, night. No. Listen to me. Oh, whenever Judge Judy does that, you know you better shut up. Whenever she said no, 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 shh, like that. Oh. Assuming that you are correct, that the toilet broke when she was using it. Right. Why would you think she's responsible? Because she's responsible. You break something, you pay for it. It's just like going into a store. You break something in a store, you pay for it. Yeah, but there is a bit of a difference. Like, a toilet probably costs a lot of money to fix. I mean, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be suing her. You should be suing, like, the company to put the toilet in. If it's not able to handle someone in their way, then they need to up, like, their toilet toilet quality no my dear you are absolutely incorrect and it's very possible that your toilet wore out exactly like honestly if you're sitting in the toilet every single day thinking about it now i've had the same toilet for like 18 years i used to have a fear whenever i was younger of sitting on the toilet seat and snapping the actual like lid you know how when obviously you lift up the first lid and then there's like the second bit with like the hole in it i watched a video of a youtuber who sat in the toilet seat and snapped it i had a fear of that happening to me it didn't wear out your honor show me you have a witness do you have an expert? I have, have an expert that's going to tell me that the toilet did not... She was in there, there. She, Your Honor, she was in there for 20 minutes. Okay, who cares if she was in there for 20 minutes? Maybe she had diarrhea. Maybe the food that you were cooking her wasn't good enough and it gave her the shitters. I feel like this is very much a point of blame type Judge Judy case. And Lisa, honey, I don't think you're going to win it. She admitted to me that she broke the toilet. And then I asked her, did you just break the toilet? Just a sec. How did the toilet break? What happened was, is I just went down and sat on the toilet. I heard like a little pop. 
and I didn't I didn't know anything. I'm, I've been so having... all I want to know is, did you fall on it? Did you oh, kick it? Heck no. Did you hit it with? Okay, so we found out eventually she did not fall on it. She just sat on it, so it was an accident. Even if she did fall on it, it would have been an accident as well. I mean, thinking about it now, like if you go into a public bathroom, imagine if you broke the toilet. Whenever I was younger, I used to watch videos of like people sitting in sinks and then them falling off the thing and like exploding everywhere. That's another fear of mine. The toilet broke while she was using it. That different than she broke the toilet. Exactly, it's nobody's fault except for the toilet company and the toilet. Actually, maybe not the toilet company, it's basically the toilet's fault. The toilet broke while she was using it. Do you understand? She sat down on the toilet, I heard a big thump. We were all gathering around in my apartment, we were Ms. having- Ms. Reed, a you're not following me! Oh my God, Judge Judy is yelling and I'm getting scared. I don't know if you can see, but I'm basically sweating right now because it's Baltic, it's roasting in my room right now. And because Judge Judy's screaming at someone. I agree with you. The toilet broke while she was using it. That doesn't mean that she broke it. And that doesn't mean that she's responsible for it. Why is this the case? Like, this is literally the dumbest thing ever. Remember, Lisa took the woman to court because she broke her toilet. Toilets break. I had one just break in my apartment last week. Cost me $650 to put in a new toilet. You think I went around to try to find the last person who sat on it? <laughs> Be stupid. Grow up. That's all. And just like that, Judge Diddy was like, snap, 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 goodbye. Well, anyways, that's where I'm going to end the video there. That is some Lars who got exposed. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, press big red subscribe button. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video.